Hi everyone, this is Gleeza made with Glee. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I create a fall farmhouse style pumpkin sign. Now you're going to need a blank canvas, poster board, regular paper of your choice. But if you are going to use paints, make sure it is a heavy stock type of paper that can hold up to paints. We are going to be using um, about eight different colors. I pulled out nine, but I ended up using just about maybe seven or eight. For the first, we're going to take our dark gray, and I'm going to put a list in the description of uh, the exact colors that I used. And I'm mixing the gray with white to get a lighter tone of gray. And we're going to water that down. So we're going to load our brush very uh, fluid so that the paint's almost at a runny, translucent uh, consistency before we start painting. So on my board, I've drawn three lines to represent three planks, and now I'm just doing the dragging type of method to layer the first layer of our sign. So just paint that generously, nice light strokes, do the up and down. You want to keep in the direction of you know, think of a wood plank. It's not going to be going up and down and crisscross. It will be going either crossways or vertically. So pick one direction and stick to it. Then we're going to load a little bit more of the darker gray and we're going to start to define our actual planks. Now you don't have to be perfect because in real life wood planks are not always perfect. After they age, they tend to warp. So don't worry about being perfect when you're doing this. Just Go with the flow and you know make it work for you so after i've uh, put down the darker color i go back with a little bit more water and a lighter shade and i start just blending it all out and i continue to do this until i reach um, a stage that i like and as you guys know i really really do not like waiting for paint to dry so this is a pro tip. My secret is I keep a blow dryer, a hair dryer in my craft room. And I like to blow dry my painting projects in between coats. If not, I will be here for a while and I don't like that. I want instant satisfaction. So once you have your uh, planks painted the way you like, whether you want to do three, however, it's completely up to you. You can add some knots into your wood, whatever it is. Now I had shown you in my lemon um, farmhouse style painting how you can do um, put your shape down and then paint your background so you have a nice pure white surface. This one I did it a different way just to show you the other option which is simply to paint directly on top of your backdrop. Now I'm using pure orange here and I'm just painting out a circle. Simple as that. Now you can make your pumpkin as lumpy, as flat, as tall, two pumpkins, three pumpkins, whatever. It's completely up to you to keep this simple. I just did one. Now this, when you're covering over a background, it will require several coats of paint to get rid of that background. So that's why if you, and I will link uh, the lemon farmhouse sign, that if you try, if you really wanted a pure orange and you didn't want to see the background coming through, try my other method. Now again, I just keep painting coats and coats of orange paint just to cover up my design and I'm not too worried because I will be doing a lot of shading. I then pick up, I believe this is burnt sienna. It's my lighter shade of brown and um, I'm here, I'm drawing in the sections of the pumpkin. Completely again up to you how many sections your pumpkin has, how many you want to highlight or show. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, completely up to you. Use reference pictures from Google to look at a picture of a pumpkin or even print out a coloring page and use that as a template or a guideline if you are not too confident in your drawing abilities. So I go ahead with the sienna and I add that on and then I just pretty much start blending my two colors. I will use the same orange and the sienna and you will notice I don't, I haven't changed brushes or I'm not washing my brush too often in this process 
this tends to be a dirty brush technique where I'm just picking up more paint and adding the different layers. So it's orange, it's the sienna, and I'm just finding and defining my shape a little bit better, putting dark spots and highlights and, you know, a section of the pumpkin that will jut out because nothing in nature is perfect and neither is, you know, painting. There's nothing perfect in our paintings either. I am no Van Gogh, so I am not worried about little smudges and little places where it's not completely perfect because in nature, like I said, nothing is perfect. Then we're going to pick up our darkest brown, which I am using, I believe it's burnt umber, and we're going to put in our base of our stem and uh, the little hollow of where it's coming from. That's our darkest tone. And then you're also going to want to darken again. This, With my style of painting, I do a lot of shading and going back over, and I'll darken a spot and maybe I'll highlight it later on. So we're just putting in our base layer of burnt umber. And again, several coats is sometimes required, especially when you're painting over a background. So again, I'm just going over and I'm leaving some spots intentionally lighter than the others because I will go back over and highlight. And then here again with the sections of the pumpkin, just darkening a few spots to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. Really simple to do and it really is painting and art in general to me is a process of playing so play with it have fun you can't go wrong you don't like it paint it over that's all I have to say so I continue now adding my shadows my dark spots and then light spots and continue with the same brush I'm picking up different colors of paint I added yellow onto the brown I'll touch a little bit of orange I'll pick up a little bit of the sienna and now I'm just continuing to shade my pumpkin. Really simple. So far so good, right? Okay, and then of course, once we do all of that shading, we need to highlight. So now I'm coming in with some pure yellow and I'm gonna start highlighting now the lighter spots of our pumpkin once I've got some of my shading done. So I started doing it with yellow and then I will eventually introduce some pure white in here, but um, it's a, like I said, it's again a lot of blending with the same dirty brush. I'm picking up colors and I am letting it dry in between some of these coats with the blow dryer. I give it a quick blow dry before I continue on, especially if I don't want to pick up the first layer and I'm just adding on to it. So really simple, small brush strokes. Again, look at pictures of like actual images of pumpkins to see where light falls and shadows, just so you have a better idea of where to place your highlights and your shadows on your painting. Really simple, really easy to do. I highly, highly recommend it. I think everyone can be an artist. So I am not, uh, like I said again, I'm not a professional, I just, pretend to be one for these uh, videos. So again, highlight, shading, that's what I'm doing. And once all of my painting is done, I am going to let that dry for a little while. And you'll see what I end up doing is uh, adding some wooden letters just to keep in the theme with the other painting that I did for spring. So initially I put down the wood letters um, unfinished, but then ended up deciding I wanted to be gray. So I put it, uh, I painted them gray and I hot glue, not hot glue, I used Aileen's craft glue to glue them on. And I also took some fall floral leaves from the Dollar Tree and glued those onto my sign. So it was really a simple project, uh, it cost me nothing because I happen to have canvas and paints on hand, letters also on hand. Like I said, I picked these up from uh, the Dollar Tree, you can also find them in Walmart, in Michaels, and depending on how what type of words you're using, you're, you're able to get at least more than one project. So I was able to get fall. Um, out of this one, but I had to open another package to get another L because I used the lemon from the first package for my lemon decor. Other than that, I had the A and the F. So 
that's pretty much it guys i hope you like my diy farmhouse style pumpkin painting i hope you attempt to do it if you have any questions at all please feel free to leave me a comment i will leave a list of all the paint supplies that i used and i'm just using regular craft brushes and acrylic paints that you can find in any craft store Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. I will see you in another video soon. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.